Hey there guys, Rick Levin here, and welcome back to Rift MC, guys, and we're going to be playing some more of their Skyblock, guys. It has been so much fun so far, guys, and we have made a lot of progress. Uh, obviously, we're at the forges at the island right now, but we just have such a massive island. We've got all these auto gens, and also, if we go ahead and fly down here, uh, we can go ahead and see we have some more mob grinders uh, down here, and currently right here, we're working on a nice little villager spawner which is very, very awesome. But you guys also saw that I actually have this dark matter armor, which gives me 10% XP boost. And if we look at slash armor, this is actually the best armor on the server, in my opinion, because, you know, XP is kind of like one of the most important currencies because that's what you use to level up your island. And as you can see, I've gotten almost 2.5 million XP, uh, which is just absolutely insane, guys. We also have about 76 mil on us, and that's with spending a bunch of money. We also have 24 tiers, and also we have maxed out our harvester host so yeah i know i've done a lot between videos guys uh but it's just been a very very fun grind and so i just couldn't help myself but let's also look around in our pvs guys uh because we have pretty much every single set i think i'm only missing the bm one because i didn't really matter that much because by the time i was going to get it i already had a max harvester hoe so i never really used the bm armor uh so i kind of just skipped that but we pretty much have a no yeah no we do have full sets of everything besides that though so you know we've got the nether, the magma, the plant, which is very overpowered, guys. Use the plant uh, when you're uh, trying to upgrade your skills. And most importantly, if we type slash skills, obviously the dungeons are where you're going to be getting uh, all of the scrap that you need to get those awesome enchants. So you need to get your fighting up. And as you can see, I am level 85 in fighting, which is the highest you need for the best dungeon right now, which is how I have uh, the very best armor. And we can also look here. I'm actually top 6 of 885 players top 0.68 percent in that skill uh so you know guys i'm a hard grinder i obviously want to show you guys uh the best thing so i gotta be a man of my word and uh go ahead grind it myself you know kind of look around everything and see what is the best uh but i would definitely recommend skipping i would not recommend getting every single one of the pieces of armor uh because they're just not that great and we also get a bunch of crate keys now so we got a grind crate key uh which is a very very awesome and let's see can we do slash kit media no okay that's okay but we do have some crates to open but let's go ahead and just farm a few carrots here get our xp uh up a little bit higher we're getting a ton of xp with this 40 percent xp boost and then also that cell boost i think is also a very important one so i would get that one so let's just take a slash uh quick look through here so i would definitely recommend getting the plant armor so you pretty much go rock to plant so you can just skip dirt uh, you can also do wind, uh, you can just go ahead and skip all of those sets to be honest. Aqua, you definitely want to get refined. Toxic could be a good one uh, if you're struggling in the dungeon. And then obviously uh, I would skip the nether. Magma is a pretty good one to get at the beginning. And then you get another charge set and you can make the dark matter here. Uh, we have also gotten a bunch of scraps guys. Just grinding mobs is one of the best ways and the only way to really get scrap and you get so many scrap and you also upgrade your fighting level at the same time so you, know, you get a nice little plant set on and then you go ahead and grind some mobs you're going to be getting uh so even more uh skill level for fighting but then you also are going to be getting all those base scraps that you need uh to be able to get the very overpowered armor so yeah all right let's go ahead and get the 2.5 million xp really quickly here guys and we just need a few carrots. We also make a ton of money by doing this. Uh, so yeah, because there's been a, a lot, a lot of progress, obviously. And there's a lot of things to go over. But obviously, I want to show you guys the dungeons. So let's go ahead. Now that we have 2.5 million XP, let's go ahead and go over to the dungeon. We are going to deposit all that XP today. Uh, if we look at slash IS top, we are currently number four. But with my XP, guys, I really believe that we'll get to number three. Uh, and start, you know, maybe competing towards number two, but I highly doubt it. But, you know, we're just going to solidify number three and, you know, see what happens from there. But we have every single dungeon, so I would go ahead and, as you did before, you can pretty much skip uh, dungeons one, two, and three. You can decide if you want to do number four. I would recommend it just because it's a pretty easy one to do, uh, and you can just go ahead and farm the boss. Slimes really don't uh, fit too well in some of the crevices, so you can hide in there and take no damage. Get some easy scrap that way. Uh, this one right here, the plant one, is very overpowered, guys. I would definitely recommend you go ahead and do that one. Uh, the mobs there are pretty weak, especially if you have the uh, tier 4 dungeon uh, armor. 
and then from there six i would skip i don't even have this set it's pretty bad it's bm boost and the blazes and gas just barely even spawn uh so not worth at all you can go ahead and do number seven if you want uh but honestly the armor there is the money so it really depends if you really care about money or not and then moving on from there are the last two XP ones. You can probably skip the eight, just go straight to nine once you get there. It does take quite a long time to get to level 85, guys. Uh, but by the time I grinded for the level eight stuff, I was already working on the level nine stuff personally. So it just depends on how much time you have to grind and whether you're actually going to get the top set or if you're going to have to settle for the second to best set but let's go ahead and look in here guys we have a couple boss heads right now uh we're just pretty much farming dark matter to kind of get more sets for the island and i want to show you guys the bosses anyway so we can go ahead and go in here and so these skeletons here are kind of silly but they're ender guards uh, and they like to shoot each other and sometimes they will uh hit themselves with their bows so but these give you three scrap per head that they drop and they also only take me two shots to kill now um that's a mix of my armor and also having such a high strength but if you're in this dungeon you'll have that strength as well and uh yeah but we just have so much health we have like 1600 health uh now but let's go ahead and we're just going to skip some of this we're going to go straight for the big boy boss because i have dark matter on this boss is actually super super easy has 10k health but you know we hit it for about 100 a hit uh you can also go ahead if you don't want to have to fight it you can go ahead uh this is the first strat i did before i had dark matter and okay let me just fight some of these to clear up some room up here all right, I like to just stand, all right, really, you're going to spawn right there. I like to just stand up here, and my bow has gotten a decent amount. Uh, from up here, you cannot get aggroed um, if you didn't aggro it first, but since I already did, uh, it already can target me. But, so, yeah, that is a nice way to go ahead and do it because, you know, you can just do a bunch, a bunch of damage and uh, not really have to worry a whole lot um, about it killing you because, you know, it is pretty strong if you do not have dark matter armor. So that is what I did for a while. Uh, it just kind of depends on your armor sets and your PvP skills a little bit, you know, PvE skills, sa somewhat same skill. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and melt this thing, hopefully. We got about uh, 4,000 more damage to do, so we've done over half, uh, which is very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and just finish this boss up. And then these, obviously, the bosses give you 16 of each scrap. Uh, so these are kind of the best to do. They spawn pretty much every 10 minutes which is very, very nice. And we can just go ahead and finish this up uh, pretty quickly. And then we're gonna go ahead and cash this in and we're gonna have three of the boss heads actually. So we'll have 48 scrap, which is super, super awesome. So yeah, you just gotta kill four bosses. You'll get a nice even stack. Uh, obviously 32 for the helmet and the boots. And then you need a full stack for the chest plate and the leggings, so. Full set, three stacks, that's how all the dungeons work. Kind of already gone over that. And let's go ahead and uh, cash these in here. So, gonna get some from there, some from there, and then some from there. So you can see we have a stack there, we have 14 more. We've already had some, uh, but we got a nice, decent amount. And then we can also just go to the island because we already beat the boss. And let's go ahead and put our cell armor on just to kind of show how overpowered that can be. So let's throw this spawner uh, up here and slash pv3 and refined let's go ahead and put that in the inventory and then let's switch it out and we'll have a 40 percent cell boost which is super super good so we can go ahead and sell all this stuff let's us let's just make sure uh, slash armor stats you can see all of your stats 40% cell boost sell everything that we just grinded you get 5.8 mil plus an extra 2.33 mil so definitely in my opinion it's worth going ahead uh, getting that armor set and then switching it out whenever you have a big cell especially dungeon cells so let's go ahead over to pv3 and throw this back in and then the next big thing guys we want to do slash is level and we want to put our 2.5 million XP to the island and see how that does for us. So let's pledge all. Confirm. Boom. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Okay. We just went up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 levels, guys. Just like that, which is super, super insane. 
and I mean I just so much XP it obviously took me quite a long time to get uh, but you know we already did it and uh, so yeah I just wanted to do that just to show you guys how much XP um, and how many levels you'll get at this point but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here guys if you enjoyed make sure like comment subscribe all that fun stuff but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed if you did loving.riftmc.co to join and I'll see you in the next one peace out everybody